Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokcha DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a Route 53 health check to monitor the health and performance of your web application in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 service, then click on Launch Instance and give your instance a name. Select an AMI an instance type, and a key pair. Under network settings for security groups, I'm going to allow SSH traffic from anywhere and HTTP traffic from anywhere. Expand the advanced details bar. Attention! Then scroll down to the user data section. Here, I'm going to copy paste a bash script that installs the HTTPD web server, starts it, enables it, and then I write the hello world message within h1 tags to the index.html file. Hit launch instance, then go back to the EC2 dashboard. Your instance should now be in pending state. Give it a few minutes, and it should eventually change to running state. Copy the public IPv4 address and paste it in a browser. You should now see your hello world message. This confirms that your HTTPD web server was successfully installed. Next, let's navigate to the Route 53 service, then click on Health Checks in the left menu. Hit the Create Health Check button then give your health check a name. Leave the monitor option to endpoint, then copy paste the IPv4 address of your EC2 instance in the IP address text box. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to change the request interval to 10 seconds and the failure threshold to one. Let's also enable latency graphs and leave everything else to their default values, then hit next. Here, you get an option to create a CloudWatch alarm. I'm going to choose no, then click on create health check. Next, activate your health check, then navigate to the monitoring tab, then click on refresh. Give it a few minutes for the health check data to populate, then click on refresh again to see a health check status graph. Now, if you click on the refresh button in the top right corner, your EC2 health check status should change to healthy. To check where the health check is being performed from, navigate to the health checkers tab. You can also see your latency graph in the latency tab. Now, let's try to make our EC2 health check fail. To do that, let's navigate back to the EC2 dashboard and click on the security tab. Open your security group, then click on edit inbound rules. Keep your formation! Here, I'm going to delete the rule which allows access to port 80 from anywhere, then hit save. This should prevent the Route 53 health checkers from reaching our EC2 instance. Let's head back to the Route 53 dashboard and give it a few minutes. Our EC2 health check should eventually change to unhealthy. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.